Hello. Uh, so I wanted to do a video today about um, the, the sort of superficial um, preoccupation that people seem to have with um, female population, at least in the Western culture that I know. Um, obviously, growing up as a female in in the society, I probably have a better idea um, about the issues involved, um, and I know that there's obviously like stereotypes and superficial things that happen with men as well, but that's going to be the focus of this video today. Um, so particularly, I just wanted to talk about sort of women in media and sort of on social media. And I know a friend of mine who has sort of like an androgynous name um, was saying that, you know, when you go into these dis discussion groups, it's a lot easier if you don't have like a photo of yourself um, because her name could be either like a boy's name or a girl's name. And if she's like posting about some sort of political issue or whatever and, and the and the perception being that this is a male speaking, there's a lot more sort of respect and sort of discussion that happens afterwards, uh, as opposed to if she goes on with like a photo, which obviously shows that she's a girl, and the exact opposite reactions that she gets um, with the exact same comments. Um, so, so that's just like one sort of symptom of the greater problem, which is that uh, everyone, including females, seem to think that um, the self-worth of a woman is almost completely reliant on their physical appearance and also their the men that they are with, or um, yeah, basically like... Uh, there's still this really old sort of idea that women are meant to be dependent on a man and they're sort of still seen as like property of a man. Um, and I think this carries through today and is sort of the root of a lot of problems that women seem to have sort of in the professional world and, and just generally in day-to-day -day life. Um, so I wanted to reference a few sort of things from different YouTube uh, videos that I've seen in the past. So, um, so for example, I've mentioned this in the past, but I subscribed to Jenna Marbles and she's super hilarious. Um, and I can't remember what the video was called, but um, there's basically a video where she reacts to like comments of hers and uh, like comments on her channel and it's just funny because um there's just so many comments just like oh you look ugly without your makeup or like oh good god look at you're so hot it was just like i mean i guess she does do a lot of sort of like fashion and makeup stuff but like um i don't know it's just one of those things that people get fixated on when they see a female they're like oh well let's just completely judge her based on appearances um, to her face behind her back like in the media it's totally fine it's totally fine for like you know president of whatever country to maybe make sort of sexist comments about people's wives or other heads of state who happen to be female um, based on their looks um, and that's really inappropriate so um, so it just goes to show that if it's acceptable at that level, uh, that is because there's kind of like a worldwide problem um, with regards to like the value that is given to to um, over half the population. So um, it's another one of those things where it's not like it's all the man's fault because um, you know females are upholding this stereotype themselves. Like I know a lot of girls who I've talked to who said, you know, like, well, I've never left the house without makeup. I would never 
uh, I would never like go outside without like having exactly the right outfit and like mascara, cover up, all of that. Like every single day, you spend a lot of time every single day on your physical appearance because you have this idea that um, that's what needs, that's what you need to do in order to <laughs> just go out and and do something simple like go to the store to get groceries or something like that. Um, and I and there's something very like sort of backwards about that because um, I think in this day and age, uh, you know, like as a as a female, you should be able to just like live your life without constantly having to worry about what you look like, what other people think you look like. And absolutely, women are the most blunt about it to each other. They're so ridiculously uh, mean about uh, other girls. For example, um, another YouTube video um, that went viral a few years back, I think, was called Ugly Girls. And it was just this like young American girl uh, ranting about like, she just really doesn't like ugly girls, and that was the whole point of her video. Um, and then I didn't actually like see it directly. Um, I also subscribed to David So Comedy, and he was responding to that because I guess um, it had gone viral. So then I went back and kind of like saw the video after he responded to it, and also had like clips of it in his response. And you know, like what he says is so true. It's just like. The things that we criticize the most in other people are usually the things that we're most insecure about in ourselves. So I find that's why I think a lot of women will criticize uh, the females that are around them saying like, oh, look at her outfit or oh, look at her hair or oh my God, that one is so fat and or whatever. Like that's completely unnecessary and it really just stems from an insecurity of the person that's making the comments generally. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I just kind of I think it's a bit ridiculous. Um, I just think that like a lot of people just get so caught up with like image and all the superficial garbage, um, just in general, the whole population, not just females. Um, and like in this, especially nowadays when everyone is meant to believe that like you always need more, you need to buy more, you need to own more, you need to have all these material things, you need to have this image of success, everyone needs to be jealous of you, otherwise you're not doing your life properly or whatever, and this whole like Facebook facade garbage that everyone gets caught up with. Um, it's just this idea that you're like creating this caricature of yourself that's supposed to be like this perfect thing and people I think are losing the like actual connections with other human beings because of it and um, yeah I don't know I just, I just think it's really weird um, what else all right and uh, yeah I mean the other thing is like when it comes to fashion some people just get so caught up with like spending so much time and money on the on their clothes and accessories and all this garbage and I understand that on, on the one hand it's sort of like fashion can be a form of art and you're expressing yourself and fine that's that's fine whatever but um, there's just this expectation that you should just constantly be like this perfect thing and um, and like I think especially when it comes to not gonna get too far into this but especially when it comes to like relationships I think a lot of um, guys feel like they um, like the girl that they are with is like a projection of themselves so if she doesn't look perfect then that means I'm not good enough because I deserve a perfect looking person and that's why I think a lot of people end up in these extremely superficial relationships where they don't actually care about what the other person is like 
as a person, they're, they're, all they're worried about is how it looks for everyone else. Um, and that's not something that, that lasts. And I think that's a little big reason why there's so many like divorces these days and, and you know, relationships are just so impermanent. And uh, it's just because it's like, well, yeah, that was good for a bit. And, you know, it made me feel good about myself. And all that really matters is what I get out of it. And there's no actual, like, connection there. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of things um, to do with that. And um, I don't know if anyone has thoughts about that. Um, and, yeah. That's, that's my video for today.